Hey guys, me who Super Subtle. Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got. I got an awesome new SH Figure Arts toy from Heo.com. So thank you very much, Heo.com, for hooking me up with this awesome figure. Heo.com are a distribution company, and they have sent this on behalf of Tamashi Nations. So again, thank you to Bandai and Tamashi Nations for the sample. This is from Tekken 8, and it is uh, Kazuya Mishima. I'm no good at names, so please do forgive me. Um, well, at first glance, I thought this was Jin, but it's not, is it? It's not Jin Kazuya, it's... Um, it's Kazuya, so it's the it's the different guys, but it's uh, from Tekken 8, and it's a Bandai Namco figure uh, from Tamashi Nations. I can't wait to bust this out of the packaging because he looks badass, man. And I've got uh, I've got Haichi and King uh, in my collection, so I can't wait to add him to the collection. Let's jump on down to the desk cam, guys, and give you an up close personal look at this awesome figure. Alright guys, so this is Kazuya Mishima, this is the son of Haichi, and is also the father of Jin Kazama. So that's the, that's where this character lies, and he is from Tekken 8. So this looks a badass man, I cannot wait to bust it open. It is an official Bandai Tamashii Nations figure, you can tell by the little hologram right here. And like I say, has been sent through to us by the lovely Heo.com. So let's break him out of the packaging and take a closer look at this awesome figure. I cannot wait. Here we go. Let me get my trusty scissors so we can snip the box. Where are we? Uh, da, 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 da. Down the side here. Okay. Let's break into it. Okay. I do love me some Bandai. Oh, wow. There's a lot. Ooh, it comes with a little stand, I think. That's cool. Oh, there he is. This looks awesome. Give me one moment, guys. So they give you two fold-out cardboard backdrops, which will make the scenery background from the video game. That's pretty cool. All right, everything's out of the packaging, so let's take a closer look at this figure. That is awesome. He looks mint. So with it being a Bandai figure as well, it's a Machine Nations, SH Figure Arts, we've got plenty of, of articulation uh, to get some posability out of this figure. He looks stunning in this big purple jacket. That is awesome. I was looking to see if that come off, and it can come off, but obviously he's got the arms. They, they haven't provided like a separate pet set of arms for the suit, so you want to keep the jacket on, basically. Um, they have concluded, though, he comes with two fisticuffed hands as standard, um, which is pretty cool, but they also gave us a bunch of accessory hands. So we've got grab hands, uh, slightly clo more closed grab hands, properly open flayed palms. So they've given us a good bunch of um, different hands there. And they've also given us two alternate head skulls, which we'll take a look at in a moment on the figure. Uh, but looking at the articulation here, um, there is so much. So the head is on a ball joint. You can make him look up and down, left and right, and all that good stuff. Plenty of movement there in the neck and head. The arms move up the side. There is a butterfly hinge there as well. It's a nice ball joint. So you can rotate it around. Again, double wrapping round elbows and hands are on hinge joints and ball with a little ball joint there as well, which is very nice. Uh, there is a waist cut here, so you can cut. You can move around at the waist. Uh, is there a further? Yeah, there's even a further waist cut there as well. He does have upper thigh movement here as well, which is nice. And again, double hinged knees, so plenty of movement there. And the feet are on rocker and pivot as well. Uh, he does even have toe articulation, which is pretty cool. No display peg holes, though. I'm, I'm surprised at that. So there's no way of sticking him to a base, which means you are going to have to, for the posability, rely on gravity or use a grab uh, like a uh, one of those grab um, stands uh, to hold on to him. Um, the figure itself, though, like I say, is very detailed and nice. I'm loving all these details built into the actual figure's costume. It is very nice, all the little uh, scales and effects, things, and even down to like the belt with the metal sort of hook, uh, catch here as well for the belt. Very cool. And like I say, even the detailing, like the brooch on the tie and the little red waistcoat underneath the black waist on the left of the black jacket. And even, the, even down to the purple inlays, there's a lot of detailing here that just makes him look awesome. Um, I am going to change out one of the hands, because I, I, I don't like having two, um, two just closed fist hands. Uh, it doesn't look natural to me. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to change it out to one of these slightly sort of grab hands-ish. There we go. 
nice and easy. Oop! <laughs> I'm gonna say nice and easy and then it just pops off. Let me try that again. Oh, I need to get the, sorry, I need to move the peg. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Awesome, plenty of movement there in those arms. So let's look at these head sculpts because we have got two alternates. This is the first head that comes with him as standard. Let me just move the camera up a slight bit. There we go. Um, so yeah, like I say, this is the first head that comes with the figure as standard, just that standard scowl expression. And if we go ahead and just pop Ooh, the whole head comes off. Interesting. Uh, I need just the I need just the head to pop off though, because there's no alternate necks. So give me a second. Very interesting to know though that that does pop off. That's very cool. So we'll go for the first of the head sculpts. If I can get that just to click back in now. There we go. So that's the second head sculpt. It's very similar to the first, in all honesty. And there's some slight battle damage on his cheek, which... Oh, no, that's on the first one as well. So that is very similar to the first one. Uh, just got a bit more of an open open mouth going on, a bit of teeth going on, and he's sort of looking up towards the right. So you kind of get him to... He's like looking behind him almost, kind of sort of thing. I'm not a fan of that head sculpt. I won't be using that one. He looks like he's, like, he looks like he's not focusing with his eyes. It looks very weird. Uh, so, yeah, I won't be using that one. That's going to get annoying that that's going to pop off every time, isn't it? <laughs> Let me try the other head sculpt. And then we've got this head sculpt as well with the more open mouth expression. Very cool. Uh, I'm, I'm not a fan of the alternate heads. I think I'll just keep the standard head on in all honesty. I think that's my favourite. Um, but yeah, we've got this head as well. Overall, I do think this is a solid figure release. Plenty of articulation and movement on this one. And he does look absolutely awesome. Kind of the question I think everyone's going to ask is, will this figure um, look good at the side of any other toy line? So let's take a look. See, I'm, I'm not sure if that scales or not. I don't think it does, really. Uh, the Tamashinations figures are obviously about uh, five, three quarter inch, just shy of six. Um, and obviously we've got the Street Fighter straight up six inch here. Uh, so I think they are slightly out of scale. Um, but it would be cool to be able to do some posing with, you know, um, with the likes of uh, Haichi, King, and the new uh, Kazuya opposite. Uh, Opposite Ken and Ryu and Dal Sim and Sagat and Bison. So, I mean, it would be cool to cross them over. Um, yeah, and I think that people would want to cross these over with, like, Mortal Kombat as well. But obviously the Mortal, the Mortal Kombat figures, I think, are even bigger. So he's not going to really scale that too well with uh, the other fighting figures that are currently on the market. But also, Sagat is a big intimidating... Sorry, Bison is a big intimidating dude. When you stand him actually opposite someone a little bit more like Chun-Li... He does actually scale not too badly with her. She, he, He's actually taller than her. So, yeah, that could work with some of the more standardized figures in the line. I'm really annoyed I don't have my Haichi to hand to pose with him. Uh, or the king. Uh, they're they're in, the, uh, in storage at the moment. So I'll have to dig those out uh, in a couple of days and do a short for you showing off all three of them together. Um, because they're also by Bandai as well, so they will scale. Uh, but it is awesome just to get this figure alone. So, th like I say, thank you very much to Hio for sending this through. I really do appreciate it. But guys, what are your thoughts on this figure? Let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this action figure review, then why not smash that subscribe button and give it a thumbs up and comment down below your favourite Tekken character. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Until next time, may the toys be with you. Bye.